which locking pods are the best? Let's find out. So if you're unfamiliar with these locking pods, whether it's from like Dai, uh, Virtue, or the HK Army pods, they all kind of have a locking or a latching lid closure to kind of help keep that lid a little bit more secure over the like traditional like snap closure pods that, uh, yeah, no, the traditional pods have. I get questions often about these locking pods. So what I'm gonna do is take like the main questions people are asking me and then like answer that question for each of the pods. So durability, a lot of people are asking, are they durable? Because there's so much more money, three times the price of these traditional pods, they should be a little bit more durable, or at least we'd hope they are. First, the Virtue PF pods. So the Virtue PF pods are made from a very, very strong and resilient plastic. There's even videos of guys out there like trying to break these things and they kind of don't, they kind of just compress. So they're not like breaking in half or splintering like those traditional pods. And then the lid is made of that same material. So the pod body and lid are gonna be very durable. And then the die lock lid, the lock lids are also made from a very strong and durable plastic, just like the Virtue Pods. So don't expect it to like, you know, crack or break really easy. And the lid is also made from the same material of the body of the pod. And then the HK Army Pod, it's also made of very durable, like rugged material, just like the Virtue or the die pods. And all three of these things are gonna hold up much, much better, I think over time, than like the traditional pods from like Valken or Gen X. That doesn't mean they're like indestructible though, because for sure the weakest spot on all pods, whether it's the HK ones, the Virtue ones, that die lock lid, the die alpha pod, the Empire pods, the Valken ones, whatever they are, they're gonna be weak on that hinge. Like, you know, you have a pod in your hand and the lid, you need to rip it off if you really want to. It's not like they're indestructible. And then capacity. So roughly all of these pods are gonna hold about the same amount of paintballs. So the Virtue pods can hold 165, and they also have a 135 round version, but it's been kind of rare. Virtue's been out of stock for the thing for quite a while. And then the Die Lock Lid hold 160 rounds, and the HK Army hold 165. I feel like these numbers are a little bit off, maybe a little bit generous though. Like I feel like if we got a bunch of pods and like, you know, counted all the paintballs that went in them, they'd probably be maybe like five to 10 off, but still gonna hold about 20 more paintballs than like traditional normal pod. And they do that by making the pods just a little bit longer. So the Virtue pods, HK Army pods, and the Die Lock Lid, they're maybe yeah, about an inch longer than like traditional standard pods. But the Die Lock Lids are a little bit wider too. So some of these packs, like say if you have a carbon like CC harness, getting the Die Lock Lids in and out of that pack is gonna be very, very difficult. So for the most part, they'll all fit in packs pretty good, maybe a little bit tighter than like that traditional pod though. And how well do the locks work? So the HK Army pod, when you press that button, that thing flies open and it opens really easy and like really smooth and clean. I have about 10 of these pods though, and three of them open extremely easy. Like I can just bump the side of it and the whole lid pops open and I don't even have to use that button. That's kind of a big deal though, because the whole point of these locking pods is that they're locked and you have to hit that like unlock or the button for the thing to open. If I'm just able to like, tap on the side of it and the lid flies open, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the locking pod. That's not to say all of these will do this. You could pick 10 up and they could work perfectly fine, but 30% of mine open pretty easy. And then the die lock lid. All of the lock lids that I have right now work very well. You just pull that tab down, lid flies open. It works perfectly fine. But I have seen in the past where some of these lock lids get a little bit sticky. Like you pull down the button to open the lid and like nothing happens because the plastic's kind of rubbing in spaces and there's a little bit too much friction for the lid to fly open. But you can fix that by just like working it in. You gotta work that lever or that locking system a little bit and then the pod opens perfectly fine. And then the Virtue, the Virtue ones opened every time and I don't think I've ever seen one of these Virtue PF pods not open easily by pressing that button. They might not be as quick and like snappy and like satisfying as that HK pod when it opens, but they work very consistently. Are they worth it? Are the locking style pods worth the extra money? So that's a common question, whether stuff is worth it or not. But that's a difficult question, right? Like it just matters how much money you have to spend if it's worth it or not. So the Virtue Pods, as of right now, last week they actually lowered the price down to $4.95. They were $5.95, so there's a dollar price drop there, which is good, I guess. They used to have a six pack that you got a better deal with, but now they're only selling them individually at that $4.95 price. The HK Army Pods are $5.95 each, and they have a six pack bundle price thing that's $35, so you're saving a massive 70 cents when you buy six. 
And then the Dilocklids are also $5.95. And those, they have a six pack bundle that you can get for about $28, bringing those pods down to $4.60. So for sure, the Virtue Pods, if you're buying them individually at least, are gonna be a better deal as they're $4.95, a dollar cheaper than the HK or Die ones. But the Die Locklet six pack, if you want like, you know, 12 or 48 pods or whatever, it's gonna be a better deal. So which ones did I choose? I think I would go with the Virtue PF Pod. I just like how they have a wider variety in colors. Like you can get way more colors than you can with the Die Pods or the HK Army ones they are only offer in black. And I like that cheaper price and the consistency of the lid opening. Like you have to have the lid open every time you press that button. If it like gets stuck or just kind of opens randomly, it defeats the whole purpose of that locking pod. So the Virtue PF Pod, ah, uh, winner for me. If you wanna buy some of these pods, uh, check a link in the description. Uh, if you buy stuff from that link, it definitely helps support this channel. Check out more paintball videos. I don't know what I'm gonna put. We're gonna put something there. Uh, you can watch that might be entertaining. Uh, or another one right there. And if you haven't subscribed to this goddamn channel already,